So today's video, I'm going to be showing you an easy method on how to pluck your frontal or closure like a pro. This video is sponsored by Asteria Hair. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video and sending me this wig to use in this video. I'll put all the information about this wig below. So right here, I'm just showing you what the wig looked like before I did any plucking and customizing. And now this is what the wig looked like after I finished. So in this video, I'm going to hopefully break down piece by piece an easy way of how you can do this even if you are a beginner. First thing you want to do is secure your frontal wig to the mannequin head. You want to make sure you're using enough T-pins to secure the lace because you don't want to risk ripping or tearing the lace while you are plucking the frontal. Next, I'm just going to take some styling mousse or foam, whatever I have handy, and I'm going to apply that to the hairline and then I'm going to brush the hair back and clip it back. And this is so I can adequately see the entire hairline on the frontal wig. So step one is going to be creating a hairline. As you can see, the hairline on this frontal goes straight across and most natural hairlines do not look like that. My natural hairline recedes at the temple area. So that is exactly what I'm going to create first on the frontal. How I do this is I part small sections near where the temple area will lie on the frontal. Some frontals already come with a naturally shaped hairline, so you may not need this step, but for those of you that do, I did want to include it in the video so you know how to get it done. So after you have your little sections parted, you wanna eyeball the hairline and make sure it looks the way that you want it to and make sure it's as even or uneven as you want it to be. After that, you're going to begin to pluck away the hair that you sectioned off. There is no method to this part. You just want to make sure that you pluck away all the hair that you sectioned off. Just make sure you are grabbing close to the lace without actually grabbing the lace so that you don't cause any rips or tears. Then next, the only thing you're going to do is do the exact same thing on the other side. And then once you're finished, this is your chance to just evaluate the hairline and see if you want to section off more hair and do a little bit more plucking. Now we're gonna get into the next step, which is thinning out the hairline. So for this, I'm gonna start on the side of the frontal and I'm just going to begin by parting about an inch back into the hairline. Then I'm just going to clip away the excess hair so that it stays out of the way while I do my plucking. Now I'm gonna get into the plucking method. So I'm going to start at the top of the section that I parted off and I'm going to go ahead and pluck move one to two millimeters down, pluck again, move one to two millimeters down, pluck again, and just keep on repeating this step until I get to the end of the parted section. So once I get to the end of that section, I'm going to part a small line off of the area that I just plucked, and then I'm going to use the exact same plucking method on the next area that I just parted. So when you are plucking and you're moving down, you should not be skipping over more than kind of three to four hairs at a time. Millimeter sections are very, very small. I like using this method because it provides me with a sense of direction for my plucking instead of just plucking anywhere and everywhere on the frontal. I feel like as a beginner, having a method to follow is gonna provide you with better results and outcomes of customizing your frontal. Even as someone who has made many wigs and plucked many frontals and closures, my results were not consistent until I came up with this plucking method for myself. Now I have a baseline for customizing my frontals and any deviation on the outcome is just based off personal preference. So once you have finished plucking the section, you just take a look at it and see if it's as thin as you like it. For me, I like it a little bit thinner. My hairline is a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go back through the section and do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna part and pluck, part and pluck. In terms of thinning the hairline, that is all you need to know for this part of the method. You're just gonna move around the hairline and sections. So I'm doing the temple section next and you're gonna part and pluck, part and pluck. As I stated before, you are going to continue this method around the entire hairline of the frontal. 
replucking each section as much as you need to to achieve the desired thinness that you are going for. Once you are finished plucking the frontal around the entire hairline, you are done with the thinning out step of this process. So the next step is going to be customizing. So first thing you're going to do is go back in with your mousse and apply this all over the hairline. Next thing I'm going to do is part off small sections around the hairline that I want to turn into baby hairs. This part is personal preference. If you prefer your wigs or hairline without baby hairs, then you would just skip this step in the process. Once the baby hairs are parted and out of the way, I'm going to go in and customize the hairline. Now the hairline has already been thinned out from the previous plucking that we've done. Now basically what you're doing is just going in at the very front of the hairline and just plucking a little bit more to make the hairline look a little bit more realistic. This part is personal preference, so you can kind of pluck as much or as little as you want to. What I recommend as a beginner for this part is to either look at your own hairline for reference or just pick a picture of a hairline that you admire or a frontal you admire and kind of try to mimic that. And now for the final step, if you did create some baby hairs, is just cutting and forming those baby hairs around your hairline. This is not the focus of this video, so I'm not really spending too much time on this. I'm just giving you a quick run through of what I do to achieve the baby hairs on this frontal. Now, once you have finished with that, you have completed the final step to this method. So here are the end results. Like I said, I love this method. It provides me with a more consistent outcome when it comes to plucking and customizing my frontal end. It has turned out beautifully for me. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that it was easy to follow, especially for my beginners. My goal was to demonstrate a structured method that was easy for everyone to follow. Like I mentioned before, this hair is from Asteria Hair. It is a 26 inch lace frontal straight wig. I'll put all the details and information about this wig below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time. Perfect.